अब स्टूडेंट्स कुछ बात करेंगे अबाउट द रेडियो वेव्स द सेकंड टाइप ऑफ आर अनगाइडेड मीडिया स्टूडेंट्स मैंने आपको बताया था कि फ्रॉम अ स्पेक्ट्रम परस्पेक्टिव द द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम व्हिच इज बिटवीन 3 किलोहर्ट्ज एंड 1 गीगाहर्ट्ज इज डेडिकेटेड टू रेडियो वेव्स स्टूडेंट्स रेडियो वेव्स आर मोस्टली ओमनी डायरेक्शनल स्टूडेंट्स बाय ओमनी डायरेक्शनल व्हाट आई मीन इज दैट योर इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स व्हिच आर योर रेडियो वेव्स दे आर ट्रांसमिटेड इन ऑल डायरेक्शंस दे आर नॉट a uh, very narrow they are not line of sight uh, students in this particular case the the problem is the interference when you are transmitting uh, radio waves electromagnetic waves in all directions then that essentially means that um, you know these radio waves are actually susceptible to interference from other sources as well so your radio waves from one source they actually interfere with the radio waves from other source students um another fact about this uh, radio waves is that when you transmit these radio waves because they go in every direction uh, propagation uh, modes if it's using sky propagation we send the radio waves it gets reflected from that ionosphere which consists of ions um, then we can use these radio waves to transmit signals over long distances as students at low and middle frequencies these radio waves um they are they can actually penetrate walls which is a advantage and a disadvantage as well it is an advantage because for example when you're using radio waves to receive am transmission on your radio sets you can actually have a radio set in the basement of a building and you'll still receive transmission students uh, on the other hand the disadvantage is that if because these low and middle frequencies they actually um they they, they are not um very good to be isolated in one single uh, area you cannot keep the transmission of these radio waves in an isolated area if they penetrate walls they'll actually get out of that isolated area students so, secondly we have got electromagnetic waves that range in frequency between 1 gigahertz and 300 gigahertz and these waves are called microwaves students so, slide ki janib chalenge and we'll talk about these bands further students so, once again we have seen this particular slide before as i told you 300 kilohertz to 300 gigahertz there is no particular separation but please note that normally 3 kilohertz to 1 gigahertz this is our radio waves and then 1 gigahertz to approximately 3 gigahertz this is our microwaves students as you can see the radio wave band is relatively narrower so this is narrow so students what happens is when we subdivide this into sub bands then the bandwidth for those sub bands is narrow as well and because of that particular reason um these narrow bands they um, can only carry a very low um, data rate for digital communication so radio waves are okay but they are not the best choice for digital communication now students all these sub bands and bands they are completely regulated depending upon where you are um, the fcc in the united states regulates the these these particular bands and then every country has a different authority that regulates these bands students you are looking at an omnidirectional antenna i've already explained to you what the omnidirectional antenna does and what the concept is all about as i told you it sends out signal in all directions and based on the wavelength the strength and the purpose of the transmission we can have several different types of antennas students so normal applications we discussed one which is am transmission it's used for am transmission it's used for fm uh, transmission both of these are radio applications then you can use this for television transmission as well uh, maritime radio cordless phones pagers um, quite a few so students this concludes our discussion of radio waves um, and we'll talk about the microwaves next